In Minecraft 1.19, we're getting new mobs, biomes, blocks and other amazing features. There is a new group of scary blocks that have lots of unique features. The Skulk Blocks. The Skulk sensor detects movement and turns it into redstone signals, perfect for traps and secret entrances. The Skulk Catalyst spreads Skulk Blocks when a mob dies near it. The Skulk Block drops XP and are a nice decorative block, same as the Skulk Veins. And there is the Skulk Shrieker that does that. It can also wake up a dangerous monster. These blocks can be found in the new deep dark biome alongside a new structure, the ancient city. You can find it deep down on deep slate level and it has a lot of different unique elements such as this mysterious portal frame. This city is the home of the warden. A very strong if not the strongest mob in the game that can kill you with a few hits wearing full netherite armor. To avoid it, you have to be really quiet or distracted by throwing snowballs in another direction. But it will give you blindness effect, so I hope you remember where you came from. And it can smell you if you stop moving and destroy you with a sonic boom. Scared? You can uninstall Minecraft right now. But why would you go into an ancient city? It's the only place where you can find a new armor enchantment, Swift Sneak, that allows you to move faster when sneaking, and a new music disc. But the most important thing are the Echo Shards. They will allow you to craft a recovery compass that can point you back to where you died. So useful for your hardcore worlds, oh wait. And finally we get a new wood type from the mangrove tree that you can find in the new mangrove biomes. A beautiful swampy biome full of trees. The wood can be crafted into all these beautiful blocks here that will look so wonderful for building. And the coolest is that you can plant the saplings underwater too. We will also get mud that you can get by clicking on dirt with the water bottle. And it also generates in the mangrove biomes. You can also turn them into packed mud and then mud bricks which looks wonderful as building blocks. Leaves can now be waterlogged too which is awesome for decorating. And then there is the chest boat, the most important feature of the entire video. Subscribe now! It offers extra storage for your early game ocean adventures. Next we have the alley, a cute flying creature that won the Minecraft mob vote. It can pick up items if you give them the same one and it can even bring them to a note block. Basically a flying hopper with delivery service. You can find it in woodland mansions and pillager outposts, poor alley is locked up. Another cool mob is the frog. They start as tadpoles and then grow into three variants based on the biome they live in. So they come in three beautiful colors. Which one is your favorite? And they can be bred using slime balls. They will lay frog spawn which will hatch tadpoles. Axolotls eat tadpoles, so watch out where you place them. Frogs can also consume magma cubes and drop frog lights that are a cool new light block. You just need an overworld mob to meet a nether mob, how hard can that be? And we will be finally able to start our own bands with the goat horn that gives off unique sounds. You can find it in pillager outposts or when a goat rams a block. What's your favorite 1.19 feature? Tell me in the comments and subscribe for a cookie from the alley.